Hey guys, it's Matt Lathan. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, quick sauce review. I've got another one of the High Desert Sauce Company. It's called Tick Hot Masala. Hope I said that right. It's pretty good looking sauce. Uh, this one is an 8 out of 10. The last one I did was a 6 out of 10. So, this one should be interesting. It says, drawing inspiration from classic tikka masala sauce. We picked the flavors of an entire meal into this bottle. Tik hot masala features a vibrant blend of sweet and savory flavors with cream coconut milk and uh, carthy spices. The one-two punch from Ghost Peppers and Carolina Reapers will knock you off your feet, and the heat takes the sauce over the top. Try a few dashes in a soup on any rice dish, chicken or lamb, for an unbelievably delicious burn. So it sounds like this guy's pretty hot. <clears throat> we'll have to give it a shot. And then see if I can open this without having to get a pocket knife out again. I'm probably going to have to. Yep. Poor old finger. It just ain't getting any better, guys. Again, this is called High Desert. It is Kick Hot Masala. It says it's 8 out of 10, like I said before. You got to get your spoon out. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to taste testing. I've got two more up after this one. I'm looking forward to doing all of them. I'm doing this one. His little spice is out. He's got his buddy over here. And they're running around out in the woods and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out. <clears throat> it smells great. I'm gonna get that little top plug out of it. warm. That's warm already. I can taste it. It's got a good spice to it. Oh, man. Let's see if I can read these ingredients here. Fire roasted tomatoes, distilled vinegar, coconut milk, ghost peppers, Something chili, onions, water, Carolina Reaper peppers, and toasted peppercorn. Hmm. <clears throat> Sounds interesting. So we're going to give this guy a shot. Like I said, my buddy Rhett Griffin, Grizzly Heat sent me this one and uh, I appreciate it sir <clears throat> come on man it's not that thick Plug in the top. I can't get it out. <clears throat> it's getting pretty aggravating.
Christmas don't look like Ah, here we go. Here we go. Didn't look like it was going to happen there for a minute. That's got a good flavor to it. I've had two of these already. I'm trying to get the little top plug out of the new bottle. But it's no big deal. That's got a good spice to it. Hmm. I mean... It's got my lips burning a little bit. That's some pretty good stuff there. <clears throat> Tick hot masala. That's an interesting sauce. It, it's a warm sauce. Like if you're not used to eating it, hot stuff, it's probably going to be hot for you. Um, maybe like a half, but it's it's got a real spicy flavor. It's not as sweet as the last one I did, but uh, it does have a real good spice. Just a enough heat to tickle my tongue. Like I said, normally, I mean, if you're not used to heat, it would probably be pretty hot for anybody else. And I know Rhett and everybody else knows what I'm talking about. But, uh, it's a great sauce. Um, like I said, I would look into this company. It's called High Desert uh, Sauce Company. I think they're out in Nevada. I think they're up there around Rhett. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, definitely look into them guys. Get the little four pack. Like I said, I've got two more to try. I'm looking forward to that one. I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's a blueberry or what. But uh, I'm looking forward to trying that one. I'm going to do that one with a uh, little spice though. We're going to get some ice cream and try it on ice cream. That way it's not as bad for him because I think it's kind of warm. But that'll be his, that's going to be his uh, warmest one that he's done. So that'll be interesting too but alright guys I'm not going to keep y'all uh, any longer than I got to I appreciate you watching if you uh, like the video you just comment you know me and the better half we'll always get back to you and uh, if you subscribed I appreciate each and every one of you guys and gals and if you haven't just go ahead it's pretty easy just click the button get it over with and uh, like I said, this is Maniacal Matt Lathan. And I'm going to leave it with you guys and gals. I hope you all have a good night.